Hey, I got a question. Are you hungry? Well, welcome, friend, to a first for the Town Hall Academy. I attempted to pull off a live cooking show with my friend Chris Della Bella. We had some tech glitches, but we were able to create a short and fun episode that accomplished our goal. You know, food is a universal language, and breaking bread with people is a personal and fun relationship builder. Now imagine a cooking show in audio format. Well, our industry is known to hold cookouts for the team, and with that in mind, we held a live cooking show. It's, of course, on video. I'm sure you can listen on the podcast or go to the show notes page on my YouTube channel to watch the action with Chris. Find the show notes and the video at remarkableresults.biz slash A186. Now it's time to say thanks to the people who bring you the podcast each week. You know, when someone searches for a shop on the internet, who are they finding? Your competitors? Well, it should be you. Now, the good people over at Shop Marketing Pros know how to drive website traffic and make Google work hard for you. On the web at shopmarketingpros.com. Now, more than ever, you're focused on bringing cars through your bays safely and efficiently. Now, Shopware's shop management system offers a completely contactless workflow. Your customers can review, approve, and even pay for their repairs right from their smartphone or personal device. Request a demo and see them in action at GetShopware.com slash CARM. I got my own page, GetShopware.com slash CARM, C-A-R-M. Hey, I'm glad you're here and committed to the new shows that we produce each and every week for you and the depth and breadth of wisdom and topics that continue to amaze. Bon appetit. We always ate pretty well, CARM. You know, if you're going to work hard, you might as well eat well, right? You're going to keep everybody well fed. Hello, friend Carm Capriato, the aftermarket podcast guy, where we've cataloged every one of the 800 plus episodes by series and keywords on the website. Now, thanks for being a big fan of the aftermarket's premier podcast. And I hope you're listening mobile and on your most favorite podcast listening app. And if you're not, you can get a free app at remarkableresults.biz slash subscribe. Hey, a small favor. Just do me a favor, please. I, I About four minutes, take a short survey. It'll help me continue to understand you and formulate the evolving podcast. Go to remarkableresults.biz slash survey. And I thank you. My friend Chris Delabella is here, the Director of Market Development in Northern U.S. for Advanced CarQuest, and he loves to cook. Chris and I worked together a bunch of years ago, and it was nice to get together with him and his wife, Nancy, who was manning the camera to bring you this first-ever cooking show. We're doing sweet Italian sausage. Hey, I hope you have plans this week to cook out for your team and or your family while practicing social distancing. We'll talk soon. Our, our goal here was to do a, an outdoors barbecue, make a really nice dish. Uh, David Justice says, we did breaks for kids like breaks for breasts. So that's kind of cool, David. I love that. From the Seattle area, we'll be having brats and pasta salad today. Every few weeks for the last four months to help keep the morale up. And does anyone out there decide to wear their chef hat when they cook? What do you think about that? Does anyone have a, a chef hat? And, and and one other thought is, does anyone have an apron? I mean, I see Chris has a really cool apron. But does anyone have an apron like this? Carm's cooking apron? Glenn McMillan. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> Love the apron. Carm's cooking. I haven't worn this in a while, and I'm so glad we're doing this show. And, and by the way, I just want to let you know... I brought some of my favorite tools with me that I would use in a cookout. And if anyone has a favorite tool, but let me let me share with you my my most favorite tool, and that would be this one. We we have a chain here in Buffalo called Ted's and they grill hot dogs over charcoal indoors twenty you know, every every day of the year. Hey Bill. And uh and I used to, I, I watched them, you know, so they could stay away from the fire with these really long, if you will, fork, long forks. And I love them because you can scar up the hot dogs and stay away, stay away from the fire. So that's one of my favorite barbecue tools. And we're still waiting for Chris Delabella to come back on board. Uh, David Justice, we had a ton of fun. They called it Breaks for Steaks. That's really cool, David. I love that. Bill Nalu, do you do anything for your team? I mean, are you cooking at all uh, as far as a 
a Saturday or not a Saturday as much as I, I know there's a lot of Friday afternoon cooks. Uh, but, you know, I talked to an awful lot of people in the last couple of weeks and he says, hey, we're, we're cooking more often than just one day a week. And uh, I'd, so I'd love to hear from you all. The cooking thing isn't just about great food. It's about providing our people's worth to us. Couldn't have said that any better, Bill. I think when you have a chance to reach out and do something above and beyond, and I think cooking uh, food or even buying and bringing in pizza and wings or subs, whatever, there's nothing like sitting around as safely as safely as you can be today with the pandemic and breaking bread together. It's it's just great. And especially, you know, one of the things that I miss uh, not getting out is just hanging out with you and, you know, being at events and, you know, if it's not having a cocktail and some of us have had the, I've, I've been honored to, to have dinner with, with a bunch of you and, and those are always just great, great times. You know, this thing worked the other night flawlessly. It was really great. There's Chris again. Hey, yes, I hear you, Chris. Yummy. One of our techs is, is hinting a pancake breakfast very soon. How cool is that? Hey, guys, I love buttermilk pancakes, and I've got one heck of a recipe for it. Anybody wants it, just write to me, Carm at RemarkableResults.biz, and I'll send it to you. And, and Bill Long says, yeah, hey, Bill, nice to see you. Chris can sure cook, and I know that. And it was Glenn McMillan who, who said something about homemade sausage, and that's what Chris has got going on here. Yeah, we've got some sausage. Do we have success? It's like NASA landing on the moon for the first time. So we got some great sausage here. I don't know if you can see or hear this, but uh, and at this point, we've cooked just about all of it. And we've got some great green and red sweet pepper here with some, some onions. And uh, we're just trying to, you know, in our, in our conversation about what's been going on, we trying to get together for a a shop lunch, right, for the service professionals, and one of the things that we've um, we've always maintained in our careers in the aftermarket is, as far as service professionals go, if you if they can't wear it or eat it, you might as well not waste your time on it, right? So we're out here today trying to just show the the, the shopkeepers and or the jobbers to uh, make a nice lunch for their guys. You could do it pretty quickly on a grill, and we've got pep- sausage and peppers. I, I'm not sure if you can hear me or not, but... uh, I can, Chris, yes. Okay, so we talked about the the in-the-kitchen with Chris thing during the quarantine. I've always been a bit of a frustrated chef, so uh, my wife and I were doing a lot of cooking, and one night, I don't know, six months, five months ago, she said to me, why don't I just film this? And she did, and when we filmed another one and then we started putting them up on uh, Facebook and then it became a YouTube channel and we're just having some fun with it. You know, we're just trying to have some fun with it. Um, I put it on LinkedIn for my son to see and it ended up with a couple thousand views with a lot of the contacts I have on LinkedIn and uh, Amy Antonora from aftermarket weekly picked it up and she called me and asked me a few questions. We had some fun with it. So it's just, we've just been having some fun. Um, with a little bit of a hobby, you know, to cook. And um, then you got in touch. We, You and I have had our our career history together back in Buffalo. And uh, so we've got, this is pretty much ready to go. We've got the sausages are done. I can go ahead and plate this up on a sandwich for you if you'd like, Carm, and then we can see if the magic of the internet really works. Well, Chris, guess what? I wasn't able to get to make my own at this end and perform some internet magic. Oh, well. Hey, you know, auto repair is a high dollar, high value transaction, and your customer sensitivity about how much it costs and why is never more important than when you ask them to pay the bill. While these conversations can sometimes feel awkward or uncomfortable, it's important that you don't fall down and cheapen your services at the final step. Shopware's shop management platform now offers a solution that helps you showcase the value and sophistication that you've invested throughout the repair. With our innovative digital workflow, customers can review, approve, and even pay for services right from their smartphone. Let remote pay work for you and improve your customer experience. Get started today. Visit GetShopware.com for more information and to request a demo. Hey, Carm here. Are your competitors ranking higher than you in search? Is your marketing company using plain vanilla recycled content? 
And does your marketing look like every other shop's and you're not even sure it's working? Powerful, effective marketing is not cookie cutter. It should showcase all of the things that are unique about your business. Don't you think you deserve better results? It's time to make a change. Our good friends at Shop Marketing Pros are past shop owners and industry veterans. They get it. Their process is pretty simple. Listen, create, and do. They spend time getting to know you and create a unique marketing message and then do the heavy lifting for you so you can do what you do best. Run a shop and fix cars. Do yourself a favor. Give your shop the top-notch marketing it deserves. Schedule a call today on the web at shopmarketingpros.com. That's shopmarketingpros.com. Don't wait. Do it now. We've got a great lunch here. If anybody wants to come by and, and have lunch with us, that'd be, that, would be, that would be great. I am jealous. Hey, Chris, can you hear me? Tell, talk to me about the sausage. I mean, do you have a, a favorite place you go to to get it? We live down in Delaware, and uh, with respect to, to meat and pork and beef and, and sausages and even uh, hot dogs and ground beef, we usually go up to a, a local butcher up in Rehoboth. They got tremendous uh, prime meats, and these sausages come from there. They're their own homemade Italian sweet sausage. They've got hot sausage and sweet sausage, and uh, the boys at Hickman's are uh, always take care of us when it comes to what we want right i i go up there and order some food why don't we put a put one together plate one up chris i love the sweet italian is that your favorite yeah sweet italian sausage for me is the way to go we also uh nancy's family owns a, a pork uh distributor that called nicolosi foods so we've been buying some stuff from them too As a matter of fact i have some patty sausage pot and sweet sausage patties in the in the freezer from them so this is just some of our homemade marinara sauce, homemade red sauce. Oh, that's a nice touch. I love that, Chris. That's a great touch. A little bit on the bun. Sometimes I do I do a little balsamic on the on the sauce on the peppers and onions. Oh boy, that would be so good. A little bit of a something different, but we throw some peppers on here <laughs> and onions. Try not to get too uh if you can smell it, Carm. Can you smell I it? I can smell it. Uh, do, do you know what salivating means? I sure do. And this, here we have a, uh, you know, that's a, that's oh a pretty God, nice look. Oh, my God, is that gorgeous? We'll yeah. even go a little crazier with it with that. <laughs> it's a, that, that's you what might you might need call, a knife and a fork. Chris, I call that a double. There you go. That's a double. A double with. That is a double. So good to have Bill Long here. Chris, Bill Long says sends his regards. Oh, Bill Long. Yeah, that, that was great. It's too Hi, bad we, we, were, we weren't able to pull this off exactly how we rehearsed it the other night. But boy, I'll tell you, we did spend a solid hour the other night making this come off. But uh, you did a great, great job. And, you know, it's all about the challenge that we give to the industry about getting them to break bread with their people. And, uh, you know, we've had some really great comments. Um, and, and I'm, I'm loving the fact that we've got a lot of people on and we've been, we've been doing a lot of social media posts. So you're with, uh, you're with advanced car quest, director of market development, Northern U S have you been kind of confined? Well, we have been, unfortunately I have five guys across the U S from salt Lake to, to Maine. And, uh, regionally they've been doing their job great for us and and keeping us on track this year but unfortunately unless I'm, i can drive uh we haven't been able to get on any airplanes and do any real travel so i've been kind of limited to the northeast and i've been doing the best we can with that but uh automotive as i'm sure bill long and yourself can attest to automotive is strong this year uh the diy kind of pulled us up you probably saw some of our was the second quarter results the other day we've we outperformed so you know things are good I, it's crazy to say that in a pandemic year but we've been having a a good year and uh car quest independent guys are strong uh we've come through this together as a as a company um who advanced was very supportive of our independent stores for uh the bulk of this time we've been sending 
safety packages and PP, PPP or whatever it's called, uh, PPG out to the stores, yeah, yeah. Uh, making sure that they stay safe. And, and um, it's just, it's just been a, it's been a, you got to kind of make, uh, make lemonade, right? So we've been trying to pull together as a team, pull together as a company, pull together as division of a company. Yeah. And, uh, we're amazed at what we can do when we all bind ourselves together, right? And on, on to your point, breaking bread, relationships are the biggest part of this business, still have been. I've been in this business almost 40 years, and the relationships are, you and I are a testament to that, right? We worked together 15 or 20 years ago, yeah. and here we are on a on a sunny August Friday, who knew, having a grilled sausage uh, in my backyard, Honest to God, uh, because I know. of our longtime friendship and, and business relationship. When I saw that video that Nancy did with when you guys were cooking, you know, first of all, I thought about what a great idea being pent up at, at home. And then I reached out to Chris like almost Frank. immediately. And I said, hey, we have got to try something on the uh, Town Hall Academy that we've never done before. And let's do a, a cooking show. But Chris, way back when we were working together, I think uh, when we had an occasion to go out to have some food, I think we ate pretty well. We always ate pretty well, Carm. You know, if you're going to work hard, you might as well eat well, right? You're going to keep everybody well fed. There's another one coming. Hey, Chris, a great friend of mine who's in Wilmington, he just put up a post and said, okay, that does it. I'll be having a live cheesecake event next Friday. The challenge is on. See that? That's terrific. Well, tell him I'll, I'll, tell him I'll meet him in Dover. and meet in Dover halfway and... Uh, I'm down in in uh, Bethany, and he's up in Wilmington, so we can have a little. Uh, he can cook his cheesesteaks, and I can cook the sausage and peppers or whatever, and uh, that's great, awesome. I hear you, cheese steaks and Italian sausage. What a what a combination! Well, look at everyone. I know we started late. I know that we had a a glitch in the technology. But Chris and Nancy, thank you so much for pulling this off for me. This is this was a this was a treat, a first timer. Thank you, thank you so much. Fun, thanks, Carm. Oh yeah, thanks, man. I'm gonna let you go. And uh, hey, thank you all so much for being here. Greg says, Bethany, I'll be down in two hours flat. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being on board to listen and learn from the premier automotive aftermarket podcast. Until next time.